Hello, everyone. This is the I'm Just Kid podcast, episode number 144. Um, this week, I have on the very hilarious, very cool TJ Francis. Hey. What up, bruh? Hello. How you, how you doing? Doing all right. Hanging in. Nice. How are oh, you? Oh, shit. That almost uh, spilled. Seltzer? Yeah. That shit's to. the best, dude. Dude, it actually gives me a little buzz. Not not Seltzer? like a not like a not like a drug buzz, but like yeah. it's like so I have coffee in the morning and then you know midday you kinda like sometimes you need to pick me up. Mm-hmm. Coffee oh not the coffee. Uh seltzer, seltzer sometimes will give it to me. Yeah. The bubbles. I don't I, know. I what could it is. I feel that. I love seltzer. Water, straight regular water isn't that's not cool. I don't I don't I mean Re- it's good. Regular water is it whack, bro. It keeps life going. But it's not yeah. if I'm looking for a drink, I want seltzer. Did you so you're where are you from? I'm from Morristown, Jersey. Morris, Jersey, right. Yeah, yeah. Did you drink seltzer when we, growing up? Uh, it like came in... Dude, seltzer was... I would say seltzer kind of came into my life the same time alcohol did, honestly. Yes, yes. It was yes. like eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, young. But Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know why. I just... Fe- it feels better. It's like a... It's a nice, refreshing drink. I get what you mean when you're like, oh, I wake up a little bit. I get that. Right. Yeah. You, it's funny. Like, I didn't start drinking seltzer at all. I thought it was, like, stupid. And then it was from comedy. Because when you go to open mics and stuff, yeah. one, you know, $5, one drink minimum. Seltzer yeah. was the cheapest thing. Yep, yep. So I just, it's like a, it's like an acquired taste almost. Yeah. I love it, though. People hate, I don't get how people hate it. It's like, do you like soda? Yeah. Do you like water? Yeah. Well, that's, it's that. Yeah. I don't get why people don't like it, but it's, I love it, bro. I think people like, um, I think, I think it's usually like people that have like a sweet tooth yeah. because it's the same thing with like alcohol. It's like some people love that fucking, uh, orange flavored vodka or like, like yeah. the Swedish fish vodka. And you're like, dude, just, I like straight whiskey, straight, whatever the fuck. And some yeah. people are just like, that's gross. How dare you? I'm yeah. like, no, it's just, yeah. it's just what it is. Like, I don't yeah. need fruit to spice yeah. my shit up. You I feel know? that. I don't drink anymore, but when I did, uh, I love beer. That was my thing. But then yeah. if not beer, it was like whiskey. It was whiskey. For right, sure. just straight. Yeah. I could have it straight. I also liked it with Diet Coke because I do like the carbonation. Yeah. I love carbonated drinks. Dude, whenever you go to, when you, like you're, you started going to Chattanooga, yeah. whenever you go on the road and if you're not in like a LA or a, a New York and you ask for, they, they don't have seltzer like right What do they available. have? They just don't have it. So, they got nothing? They got sweet tea? If you go to a bar, you're like, sweet get a tea. sweet tea. But like, let's say you go to a bodega or a 7-Eleven around here. There's seltzer all the time. They don't have seltzer? No, if you go to like a rest stop in the middle of the south or the middle of nowhere, they, it's not a guarantee that they'll have it's seltzer. It's just soda. They just have They just soda. have Pepsi, Coke, yeah, uh, iced tea, even the bars. Like, not the bars because they have the nozzle, but like, yeah. if you go to like, uh, mo- like everywhere here, seltzer is on. It's, it's a very best. New York thing. I love it, yeah. though. It's very, it's it. very, seltzer has a... Seltzer, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, is having a big rise right now. Because you got oh, the yeah. White Claws and shit, and then you got like Bubbly yeah. and all those new uh, seltzer waters. So yeah. seltzer's doing very good. The right White now. Claw people really tapped into something. Because like, yeah, no did. one... I, it's funny because I think it's all about the health. Like no carbs is the big thing I now. I think that's what, yeah. That's what it is. soda. Sugar, it's just water. carb, and like... Once they came out with that, man, like, you know, people real and like now every every beer company, every Everybody. company that has alcohol has their own uh, seltzer. It's actually crazy. No, like, it's really it's just a, it was like it's like a huge boom. I've always yeah. thought I don't know why there's not remember, you know, like this is one of my billion dollar ideas that I never yeah. executed uh, a yeah. lot. But uh, like Jack and Cokes, why is that not like a fucking can? Like a, Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Like a whiskey soda. Why is that not a can? I mm. guarantee you, there's probably some companies out there that do it now. Yeah, but that will be something soon. Yeah, yeah. Just like like people would have a tonic water and vodka. That's basically what the white claws are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like it's fucking Jack and Coke in a yeah, can. Yeah, or like a Manhattan in a, in a fucking yeah, can. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah. No, they don't, yeah, they don't do that. Or Blue Moon just with like the orange, more orange. Yeah. In the thing. It's got to be coming. So that like it's too, that's the thing. That's what I was thinking about the seltzer. It's like when it came out, you're kind of like, oh, this is like a drink that has no carbs, no sugar. Like that's yeah. a great idea. And then you kind of think like, why the fuck did where yeah. where was the board? You know what it is, and it's kind of like show business too. It's like if there's no mod model of success, why do it? Yeah, people that like all these like uh, corporate people don't even want to listen to it. Yeah. They just yeah. want to copy the same shit. Oh, that, and that's why it's like you see with um. The seltzer, one company is a huge boom. Everyone's fucking following. Same thing with fucking TikTok. Everybody, though. But then it gets yeah. blown up. And you're yeah. Like, oh, and yeah. then people go, fu-. then they start to resent it a yeah. little bit, you know? Because yeah. now, like, now I don't know about you because, like, I was so heavy into seltzers. And now when I go to a bar, um, now I just want to drink beer again. I, enough. again, I'm sober now, but I would, I was never that big into the seltzers when I was drinking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just always liked beer. What'd you, why'd you get sober? 
Drink too much? Just you, Was there a moment that you did something fucked up? Uh, no, there was many moments. It's funny. I'm actually doing a podcast tomorrow where I'm talking about sobriety. All of my, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm like new to it. I'm like 160 days or whatever. That's good. Yeah. Um, but, uh, there's not a moment I would say. It's just a lot of people who were like starting to be like, Oh, you should not be drinking right now. Really? Yeah. And then, um, like, like, like in regular life, like where you're drinking day drinking, they're like, you shouldn't be doing that. Or you're at like a, it became work. a problem. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, like the more once I, when I first got sober, I kind of was like, ah, this is stupid. I don't need to be sober but yeah i'll try it i'll see what it is and i like took it seriously i was like i'm gonna go to aa but in my head Ooh. i was like and i do i don't go as much as i should i need to go but you can't I, talk about that stuff right AA. you can talk about i can talk about me i can't be like oh yeah james yeah. camacho's in it yeah, he was too. sucking dick yeah, for yeah. for whiskey yeah, yeah which they do at aa which is fun <laughs> that's <laughs> why sucking i go dick for alcohol no oh okay no, I was no, 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 you no, could no. just steal something that's no. um what was i saying oh, yeah in the beginning yeah, in, the in the beginning i kind of went in with like the intention of like I'll do it because a lot of people are kind of pushing me there, but I'll drink again. And now I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. Right. I think, I think, it, I think I did have a problem. The more I step away from it, the more I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where were you? Were you just like your typical blackout drinker, or was there a re- like? Was there actual? I mean, there was life a- changing things because of your drinking. When you look back on it, like yeah, I mean, like <clears throat> the money's one thing that I'm the now money, I'm thinking about. Yeah. I mean, towards the end of my drinking. So what happened was, I mean, I did a lot of dumb shit. Like I've been arrested a couple of times. I've yeah. woken up in the wrong house, like sure. crate, which was crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, I've then towards the end, I would like, uh, I've gotten tattoos, drunk. I've gotten fights, all that shit. Ooh, tattoos. See, that's that's where I think you're kind of on the surface of like, because that's life changing shit. That's yeah, when yeah, you yeah. want to be like, hey man, like, you want to ease up on the booze. Yeah. You know, because you become a like a psychopath yeah 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 yeah. when that was a year or two before i got sober yeah but what happened towards the end was i would just drink i drank all the time Mm -hmm. and when i drank i would be like if we if this this is like a good example is like i went on a date shortly after going sober yeah and i i had like literally like 12 diet cokes on the date oh and i realized that like oh that's how i would drink like I would just try to finish it as soon as possible. Yeah. When I have like a third left, I'll order another one so it's there when I'm ready. Yeah. And then I would just do that all day. And then I started to get earlier and earlier. And then I started to like miss spots for drinking. Like people would be like, let's go drink. And I would have a spot and I'd cancel it to go oh, drink. That's that's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I did all that stuff. And yeah. then, you know, that along with like the money and then a lot of people being like, you should fucking slow down. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm not going to drink today. And then I'd wake up and I'd be like, eh, it's fucking... Yeah. Tuesday. Let's and you're drink. not a, you're not a, you can't casual drink. You have to, it's no, like yeah. you start and that's yeah, it. No. Yeah. Give me five. You no. double fist in. That's the thing too. I tried to get so before now, before this time I tried like four months in front of that. Yeah. And I went sober for three months, but that I kind of always knew I was going to drink. So I had my best friend's wedding and I was like, I gotta, I, I kind of was like, I'm just going to slow down. And then I slowed down and then I drank at the wedding. And then after that, I was like, okay, now I can like casually drink. Yeah. And then I tried. And then after like two weeks, I was drinking every day. But yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it sounds. So how do you feel being sober? You feel great? Uh, Yeah. Everybody's like at a certain point, you're like, oh, yeah, this is just how I feel. Like yeah. in the beginning, you're like, yeah, I feel fucking amazing. And yeah. <laughs> I wake up on a Saturday morning and I don't feel hung over. Yeah. Uh, but at a certain point, you're just like, well, this is just life. Like yeah. people, I, I hear people be like, isn't it great waking up not hung over? And I'm like, yeah, but I don't even really remember that feeling anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember some things where I would be like, ugh. Yeah. But now this is just life. You know what I mean? It's Hangovers are so, I have so many like stupid bits about hangovers, but they're really just like, Bro, they feel so bad. They're the worst. Dude, They're the you worst. literally feel like you're dying. I've had like just like like I've had like like um I don't know, maybe like top ten worst feelings. Some of them have been like some of my hangovers, you yeah. know? Which is pretty pathetic. And then on top of that, like the anxiety of like, oh fuck, what did I do? Right, right, yeah. right. And then yeah, it's just, it's just terrible. And then like I'll remember I remember I'll be super hungover and then like by by the will of the gods, like I'll get over it midday, yeah. and then I kind of get my life back together. And dude, and like your whole morning, you're like I'm never doing this again. I'm never doing this mm-hmm. again. And by seven, eight p.m., you're like, oh, should I go out and get? It? It's fucking so crazy, dude. It's insane. Yeah, and it just it's, it's like insane. Yeah, yeah, it's an addiction. And then also like to beat the hangovers back when I was like you'd wake up, you'd feel horrible. Yeah, you're like I'm not drinking, and then you feel horrible an hour later, and you're like, well, if I have a beer, it will go away. Like, It'll go away. And then you have a beer, and then it's at college football Saturday. And you're like, oh, I'll have another one, and then you keep going. That's yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, I haven't. I don't know if that. 
that kind of works. But then I sometimes it just like the hangover is like double packed. Oh, the yeah. next day after. If it's really know? bad and you're like gonna throw up, like yeah. But for the most part, if I, if I, I feel like I just got used to it. Yeah. Like a weird thing about like drinking a lot. I've heard and read now that like when you black out in the beginning, you have to drink so much, right? Yes. Towards the more you drink and the more you black out, it takes less beers to black out. Yeah. And it's because basically your brain, ta- your body like takes the alcohol in and is like, we know where this is going. So towards the end of my drinking, I would black out after like six, seven beers, which is like yeah. crazy. That's quick. Yeah. Yeah. But like back in the day, like, you know, I, I would, I've done multiple days where I'm like, oh, I'll drink all day. And I legitimately probably had like 25 beers. Right. And you're like, right. oh, I didn't even really black out. But then towards the end, you're like, oh, I had seven, eight. And I don't remember what the you fuck You start to I get did. good at it too. Yeah. Because like if you do, like I always have this, I take a few days off, first day drinking, like. I get that like classic like really early uh, headache. Yeah, and I get and I'm like fuck this. Like why do I even try again? And then whatever something occasion comes up Friday, Saturday, Sunday. By Sunday, dude, you're drinking and you you're a pro. Like you're yeah. you're you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're it's like your 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 state of being. You yeah. know. I'll tell you what though, drinking is the fucking coolest. Yeah, and I love it and I miss it a lot. It is cool. It's it is like best. that cigarette flicking type of cool. Like when you have a cold beer or yep. like. Like, I just met some dude this weekend. We were shooting something, and, like, the dude's, like, fucking completely ripped, gorgeous, like, just massively, and he's just crushing Bud Lights, yeah. like, 20 of them. I'm like, yeah. that makes, you're not, that's, that, it, it, I, I fucking love you. Yeah. You know, you're a fucking Hercules, dude. It's annoying. But that shit's <laughs> annoying. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is, you're right? like, oh, fuck you. You're like, how bit. the fuck does this make sense? Yeah. I drink a beer, I have fucking a beer gut, and, you know, I can't get rid of it no matter how much I run. Yeah. This guy's p- crushing beer as ripped as ever. Some people are just blessed. Fucking asshole. Was he white? Yeah, just like a fucking Herculean that's, dude, man. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, Most, I know. It's, yeah, yeah, black it's people, black, they, yeah. yeah, they could be like, oh, oh fuck. Dude, ripped. sometimes he's fucking cr- like uh, uh, people on the sh- like the street, and like I hate. I mean, it could be black or white, but like the or gay. The, yeah, or gay, or gay, or woman. Um, but nah. they're like homeless, and they're like completely fucking shredded. Oh yeah, and like holding the door open for you, and I just want to be like, dude, if you just 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 made a video. Of you doing crunches and being like, this is how you yeah. get these abs. You make you money. Would, you would be, you, hey, put it on TikTok, Go bro. On TikTok, yeah, get man. a creator fund. <laughs> Listen to Gary V. Just find Gary V and you'll make it. Yeah, yeah. Just Gary say v bullshit. Is- bullshit, dude. I, all those things gotta be like, if you were like that dude I was talking about, dude, he could just be like, I, I fucking ate glass every day. Yeah. For me. And then he would go, it would, people would do it. No, the, oh, it's not the, working for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, you know, you gotta keep going. <laughs> all the genetics. Would be do heroin, lose weight. Yeah. And then just fucking do push ups because you don't have a job. And you'd be like, all right, that, yeah. you could do that. That's the thing, too. You have nothing to do all day. Just just work on the video all day. Just take one day. They don't eat, they don't have technology. Although homeless people are starting to <laughs> yeah. Now, some I love how homeless. we're like, yo, homeless people, just work on the video. What don't you get? Yeah. You homeless idiots. You stupid <laughs> fucking hope. And they're like, what hope. even is a video? Yeah. They're like, they're like, we read newspapers. Yeah, like, right. yeah. I had a buddy of mine on um the podcast and his brother is like legit homeless. Like homeless oh, good. homeless. Good brother. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. But <laughs> here's the thing. But I'm here's kidding. The, it's probably a fucked up situation. But here's the thing. They've tried and like some of these homeless people sounds racist when you put it that way. Some of these homeless people. Some of these damn homeless these people. Damn homeless my people. Daughter. Um they just want to live their life without any responsibility, job. Like they, they I, like I that. that. They got they like that lifestyle. In the moment there's some like because you know to make money you you have to have a boss you got to do something like to have any type of schedule or anything they they, they don't want to fucking do but it you know of course but here's the thing here's the thing uh at a certain point your responsibility doesn't become making money it becomes oh shit how do i not get stabbed at 3 a.m. in central park aka my bed cuz right. i'm homeless true true you got listen i get it i get you trying to live on the or live free and not have any responsibilities or things to answer or people to answer to but you don't have a home yeah, but I don't. Th- it's so crazy because I don't think like I'm That's telling you, man, bad, they don't because they have, you have a home, you have to bills, you have papers to sign, you have to like a do like a rent. Day. I just they just don't want to do. I it, get the dude. difference between like you ever seen the movie Into the Wild or like know what it is? Is that a kids movie? No, no, no. It's a movie. I don't know the guy's name, but okay. it's basically a guy's like a Harvard 
I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. Right. But it's something like he's a Harvard graduate, either like a lawyer or a doctor or some shit like that. Like a really good job. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of like, fuck this. I'm going to go live in the wild. Yeah. And like no responsibilities. Oh. And uh, he ended up dying because he ate a berry. But anyway, that's a, there's a difference. <laughs> he there's ate a, a berry. <laughs> he died in the wild. Yeah, it was a blueberry too. He's oh, allergic. Fuck, didn't even know. No, I'm kidding. It was like some fucked up. But anyway, it, yeah. there's a difference between that and a guy who's homeless collecting bottles. Yeah, yeah. It's like I get the be free thing, but then there's also a homeless person collecting bottles. Like the homeless person who's being like, are you done with that? Give me your Poland Spring is not being like, I just love being free, man. You know, no, I mean? they're doing that because that's, that's He's like, I did got. heroin. That's right, right, best. right, right. Yeah. Fuck, what an idiot. I quit my job and eat berries in the wild. Go fuck it yourself. No, uh, that movie's good, though. Check check it out. Into the wild. Who's yeah, in yeah. it? Um, The guy. He's a famous guy. I don't know his name. Uh, I'll check it. I'll find yeah, it. Yeah, it's a good movie. Anyway, so um, let's talk real quick about the pair. So, yeah. um. Well, not even about the pair, but about uh, barking. So you, you know, I, I've, uh, you bark a lot. I used to bark a lot. Yeah, I'm done pretty much. I mean, right. Do the uh, barking is the best thing that ever happened to me in comedy and in life, I guess, because I'm trying to yeah, okay. do it. But it's also like I'm done with it. I've done it for like over a year now, like a year and probably three, four months. Yeah. It was great. I made a, my living off of it. I got a lot of spots and they're like a lot better i would say like and connections that's you know connections yeah. yeah yeah it was the best thing that i've ever done and i think people who like look down on barking it's like i get it to an extent but then i'm also like it helped it helps people you look at any like anybody in who's famous now i'm like did they probably like yeah it's like being an intern basically. it's such a negative connotation and i still feel it now like I did a roast yesterday, and one of the things is, like, he barks at the grizzly pair. And even though I'm like, well, it helped me a lot, it, I still was kind of like, eh, I don't like that. You know, you want to, like, hurts, get over yeah. that. Yeah. And Stigmas. Yeah, yeah. But it it was the best thing I've ever done. Right. For those for those who don't know what barking is, it's um, when you're um, basically – is a comedy show that needs to get people in, and um, people will be out on the street um, trying to sell tickets or just – um, asking people to come to the show. Yeah. And um, in the comedy community, it's a way for new comics to get stage time. Yeah. Um, but it's looked down upon, um, not because it's like, not not because it's easy, not because it's like, not going to make you money, just because like, it's like that classist thing where it's like, oh, you're doing that to yes. get. And would it really, it's annoying because, I mean, to be in the middle of the street yelling at people um, to try to get in, like that's, that's hard to do, man. Yeah. Like it's embarrassing because like most times you get fucking people look at you like you're 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 homeless, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, um, I just like to be free, man. This right. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 it's fucking shitty, dude. And you know, I I, I people will give you smart ass responses. Oh, they completely yeah. disrespect That's you. That's the worst. That really is the worst thing about barking is like the drunk idiots on like Friday and Saturday night. That, yeah. That is the and worst. this is outside the Grizzly Pear, I McDougal, which is like the one of the fucking wildest places. Yep. In the a lot world. Of homeless people fighting the air. Yeah. A lot of the, a lot of drunk frat which might be even scarier. Drunk frat kids, you know. They're the though that's the they're worst. they got to be worse. Yeah. And I know people if this is on video people are like, "Oh, you would get along with it." I hate those guys <laughs> more than anybody. I hate those guys so much, dude. There could be a blue-haired fucking barista from Brooklyn talking about how life isn't real and I'm like, "All right, I you're fine yeah but then the frat bro guy who's just like being obnoxious and a douchebag and like yo that girl i could have fucked i'm like oh my you're yeah. the worst bro you what's the, what's the, the worst. worst thing anyone's ever said to you while you were trying to uh while you're barking mm, i don't i mean so many just i mean i don't really remember a lot of like the most annoying things are like Oh, what time's your show? And you're like, oh, it's at 10. And they're like, yeah, definitely not. And you're like, okay. Then what? Like, you feel good? Then they're just drunk and they're idiots. Oh, really? Like, stuff like that. Like, st yeah. them, like, making fun of you for basically doing something that you're... Right. Well, it's almost like they rope you in. Like, they could be yeah. interested. And then they go, whoop. Like, yeah. they just pull it away. Yeah. They're, like, playing with you. They're yeah. like, They're like, oh, you have a show? And you're like, yeah. And then they're like, well, fuck your show. And you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that that's the worst, you know? Yeah. Uh, like, like it's like a are you like like oh, we have a comedy show. Is it funny? It's yeah. just like fuck, dude. Just if you don't interested, just, you can just keep walking. Those people, I I've learned in the beginning. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, it's funny, and then but then you like get hard. You like get callous to it, and then you get people uh, who will say like, is it funny? And you're like, all right, it, like I'm not even gonna try, just leave. Yeah. People who are like uh, people are like oh comedy show, and then go I am the comedy show, oh. and you go okay, Ooh. then 
go. Like, as, if somebody, I'm the worst salesman. I you just, would never say that at a, like a strip club. You know, you want to, hey, you want to go in the because they do that with strip clubs too. <laughs> yeah, but you want to go in the strip club? I am the stripper, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am hot. Yeah. I am fucking dancing for money, dude. Yeah, that, that I can funny. pull dance. Are they hot? You know what? Just leave them. You don't <laughs> even, what are you gay? Are uh, they hot? Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, barking has this stigma about it. I don't know why. I think a lot of the good comics that not all of them, obviously, but a lot of the good. There's so many different. There's no fucking right way to do. This it's thing. working hard for something at the most basic level, and I think like people think they're better than that. So I think I think it really comes down to is like anyone that goes. It, it's like and of course, like if they're gonna talk shit that way, they don't do it. Yeah, but I also think it's something that they that they can't do. You know, it's not. It's not even. Yeah, I guess I yeah. think people look down on it because it's like oh you got to sell tickets to get on stage i got booked at this show and it's like oh yeah, yeah? you had you did two spots last month i did two spots last night oh maybe that's a good point yeah. i think that's why people look down on it yeah which i get i mean there's a reason that i'm like trying to stop because i do i don't want people to see me as a barker forever yeah i do, i want to start getting booked more I, I am quitting barking pretty much PSA right now, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With uh, the understanding that I'm going to be getting a lot less spots. Yes. I yes, get it. Yes. But to me, I'm like, this is a good trade off. I got what I got out of barking, and now I'm going to try to like hang out more play and do all that bullshit. I'll tell you right now, that there's going to be moments like that always in your career because, you know, it starts with stuff like, oh, I, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be less spots. But eventually in the long run, you know, people will respect you. And then like you'll have more time to do other things that will get you on stage. There's right. going to be a point where you're going to be at a club doing check spots. And then you're oh, like, yeah, I yeah. don't want to do check spots anymore. Yeah. And like, oh, we want you to do check spots. And like, no, nope, yeah. I want to be doing uh, paid spots. And then they won't, you'll get less spots because you, you won't be checking. Yeah. And then eventually. But you got to do those things. You got to do it. It's a yeah. set. I remember for LOL, they would just do, um, I would only get booked for check spots. And I would tell the owner, I'm like, at a certain point, I'm like, I don't want to do checks anymore. And he was giving me bullshit. He was still booking me for checks for months. And then eventually, I just cold stopped going for like yeah. eight months. Yeah. I didn't go. Way less spots. But you know what? In retrospect, I looked at it. It was less spots in total. But I found other spots at like, you know, yeah. bar shows, Brooklyn yeah. shows. I, I still was able to like, and I didn't miss it that much. Like, yeah, yeah. And eventually, I remember I went like eight months later, I went there to just like kind of hang out to LOL. And... They were like, where you been, man? Like, what the fuck? I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I told them. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, we'll change that. And then, yeah. like, the next week, I was, yeah, like, that's... doing the right. And then, yeah, you got it. It's like, it's like striking, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I'll be eight years next month. Do you remember, uh, you probably don't, but I took a class at Gotham Comedy Club, and oh, you you were the host of the oh, show. Oh, I, I, I mean, I remember the class, but I don't remember. Jim I mean, Mandrinos. Yeah, I hosted so many of those. Yeah. So. I had a good thing going on. They don't do the class anymore. Yeah. Was it? Did I bomb? I don't remember. I mean, you did better than any of us, obviously. <laughs> but I, I don't. That was like the first time dude, I've like never, done. Dude, those there would be some of these classes that I would do, and the people would because their friends are in the crowd. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So they would do better because their friends are saying yeah. like, "I got, I fucked a horse," and their friends yeah, like, yeah. "What?" Yeah. You know? We remember that. We were there. Yeah. 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 Or they don't know. Like, oh my god, I yeah. didn't know you were such a fucking yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, and then all the, the new comics always like surprise everybody. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I got um. It was a good thing because like I would do that like once a month, and then I would get paid, and I was like, like that a good like, paycheck? It was like the host was like seventy five dollars, and then sometimes it would be two shows. Yeah, and it was yeah. like a it was like an early it was like a I don't know sat like a Sunday at six p.m. Plus well, just being in Gotham, they're paying yeah, you, yeah, so yeah. your name's in their little little stupid booklet of yep. paid comics, and then. Yep. You know, they they get start to get to know your name, and you're in there, and sometimes the manager walks by, sees you get a laugh, and then walks away. But you know, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, oh, that's I pretty crazy. That. That's yeah, fun. I remember that. I I went up to you after, and I was like, because I think people took. <laughs> what do you? Oh boy, I hope I didn't say anything. People, should. no, no, no. You were nice. People oh, okay. took my people took the class, and I thought, and I th I still am the only one that's still doing comedy Same, in that class. Yeah. Because, uh, which is another thing that people look down on, by the way, classes. And it's like, I didn't take a class thinking, I'm not like dumb. I didn't think I was like, I'm going to learn how to write, be funny. I didn't think, I was like, okay, I'll get on stage and I'll learn some other stuff that like, I wouldn't know. Like, did you, were you doing a stand up before the class or was no, it your first? Okay. No. okay. I did one mic in like April and then the class started in like July. Okay. And then I, after the class ended is when I was like, started okay. going hard. And by that, I mean like I did like two yeah. mics a week for like two years. Yeah. 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 Um, 
but I asked, I just remember I asked you, I think it was cause I've been basically doing it now like four years. So I remember you were like four years in and you're like, oh, I make a living off this. And I was like, that's fucking, all yeah. right, I'm doing this. And then that, yeah. Oh, so I, I inspired It you. wasn't like too much, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember oh, cool. being like, oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I'll think, yeah, I always try to be uh, nice to, to yeah, everyone. you gotta be. Especially yeah. because you never know who's gonna be who, which is like a selfish, fucked up way to be like, I'm gonna be nice to everybody. Yeah, that's but it's what also it, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny how we can spin us being nice people yeah. into like a fucking selfish thing. You know, only we would... Only like yeah. actual nice people would be like, I was only being nice for my own benefit, so don't take it. Don't yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. give me too much credit. It's um, true. I tr- I took an ethics class once, and one of the things that they said was, "Is there any act that is not selfish?" And if you think about it, like not really. Yeah, we do everything for like every the, w- the way we just the way we dress. We try we're trying to get laid. The way we um, do Even anything if you in life. Gave yeah. somebody a million dollars. You're like that's a inherently self unselfish act. Yeah. And you're like, no, the guy did it to feel good. And like even people that don't tell everyone about it. And I said guy. Yeah. Could have been a could have been a girl. No, I meant guy. All right, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> girl. Women don't have money. I, um but even someone that does it and does it doesn't tell anyone about it, I think there's they're they're doing it for yeah, yeah, internally, yeah. Which is actually like it's the nicest way to go yeah. about it, obviously. Cause it's it's border it's so crazy. it's weird to say it's shitty if you donate the money and you and you tell everyone about it. Because it's still donating money. Yeah. But, yeah, everyone does everything for themselves. Everyone only cares about themselves. The closest you get for living for other people is when you're in a relationship with someone or it's your family. That's really the closest it fucking gets. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then even then, you can always make the argument. You're like, oh, I may, I folded her laundry because she'll be happy with me. And then for me, it My will life be will be bit, easier. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you can always go back. No good deed is a good deed. Yeah, That's the lesson all of this podcast. Selfish pricks. <laughs> We're all evil including fucks. Me. So um, be selfish. Do whatever you want. That's um, the message. Yeah. So, um, all right, this will go hand in hand. So we're so you grew up in Morristown, right? You Morristown said? High. Morris- Morristown, um, New Jersey, yeah. Have you played at Scotty's? The, uh, yeah. Is that that Morris was one of the... Morristown? Uh, Morris... It's actually Milburn. Oh, fuck me. Is that I've never done, like, a real show there. I did mics there when I, like, right after the class, and I was like, just... That's what I... Like, there was one mic a week, and, like, that I would go there, and then I would yeah. go like, somewhere else. But, yeah, I would do the mics there, which was fun. I, I think- like that room. Uh, it, could be t- it could be I like like the layout and it's and, a cool layout yeah. uh, I've never really seen a show I should go back because I haven't been there in a long time and now I know like what is a good comedy room and not kind yeah. of thing but that was a great that's uh, some. Of, I have some videos on my phone of like some of the first times I've ever been on stage it's yeah. crazy I came it's across good, yeah what I came across a couple old ones it's, I didn't watch them it's tough I watched one it was really bad but um really yeah it was really bad I was getting laughs too it was really just awful like just like so you can just see like you you can't believe people are laughing like that that's the whole like you're watching it it's like this is so terrible but at the time you thought it was good because I did too you're like oh god yeah yeah but it's just it's one it's hard to watch yourself and it's like it's just so bad dude it's just like I look at that I'm like I just get, think of my like think about my girlfriend like I, like you would never have this is so bad yeah I can't get like the jokes or everything it's just like the the stage presence is yeah. not there yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. really cringy you know yeah of course um, that's how it goes though so you went to you grew up there and yeah. um, how was high school yeah I went to Seton Hall Prep though I went to an all boys Catholic high school oh shit yeah West now Seton Hall Prep I'm I'm a little I'm a little stupid but is that literally like or we're gonna, or people are gonna go to Seton Hall. Uh, they're associated. Yeah, yeah. my dad actually went to Seton Hall Prep too. Okay. And when he went there, the high school is actually on the college campus. Now it's elsewhere. So is it expect like what's the uh, the ra- uh, rate of people that go to Seton? I Hall think a lot there? of people do, but it's not like you're like this not, is, you're not forced. You're not to. like actually preparing to go to the university. Okay. okay it's just cool. like a, co- a high school. And a college, kind of separate, but also kind of the same. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people do it just because it's. You, I mean, I'm sure if it's down between two people at admissions for Seton Hall University, are like two people are the same. One went to Seton Hall Prep, one went to a school in Maryland. They're gonna take the Seton Hall Prep guy. Yeah. But there's no, there's really nothing there. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I know you were, um, you're, you did baseball. Um, yes. Were you? Did you play baseball? In high school? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Were you, how serious were you about it? Very serious about baseball. I yeah. played... That's why I went to Seton Hall. Yeah. Seton Hall is a very good baseball school. Uh-huh. Um, I played baseball in college. Uh, yeah. I, I was very serious about it. Shit. Now, I kind of looking back, like, I, I 
was good and I, I was good quote. I was always I was always like okay. Yeah. Um I never really liked it. Ooh. I've really I've realized that like just how I like stopped drinking and I was like, Oh yeah, I did have a problem. I stopped playing <laughs> baseball and I was like, Oh yeah, baseball I didn't, problem. I didn't really like it. Yeah, I yeah. did. I just played because honestly I was like quote good. Like I got a lot of attention, which I which is why I think I do stand up. I like the attention. Right. Um, cause I'm a selfish prick cause we all are, we all no, no nice deeds. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I played baseball cause I think I got a lot of like attention from it. What position did you play? Shortstop. Oh, so yeah, Shortstop you're the fucking base. quarterback, dude. Yeah. You're yeah, the yeah. stud. Yeah. The problem was I never fucking performed. Yeah. I was, I was, uh, to, I'm trying to think. How did I you think play. you were going to be in the majors? Yeah, or there were minors, times. Like, there were times. Yeah. I talked to. Um, like, what are we talking? Like, how good were you? Were we? Were we at like batting averages and stuff? Like, see, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna tell you. I'm trying to relate to comedy. I was what people. I know baseball. You can. Ju- you can. Just I know, say but you might not know that. This okay, is like, okay. I was what they called a showcase player. Okay. I was very good on paper, like very good. I threw hard. I had a in batting practice. I could hit really well. Yeah. I was a very good fielder. I ran okay, whatever. Yeah. But you put me in a game, I always fielded well and I threw hard, but hitting wise, I was just pretty bad. So uh, I never had like a good, so like, for example, this is not like, it's like Billy Bean a little bit. Kind of. Like yeah. Like ball. I could never put it together kind of thing. Mm, so like coming out of high school, I was actually, this is whatever. This, this, <laughs> this, is, is, whatever. this, seems, this is, seems very like, gay to say but say it i love I gay was, things i was i was by this website perfect game yeah. i was ranked the number one shortstop out of high school but then i like did nothing with it really uh-huh. in new jersey by the way okay um it's still something it's something it's but i like and i yeah. played in college but it's like i never i never hit over 300 in high school so i it was always like this thing where it's like if he ever put it together he could be good and then i just never did and are they going off like? Because I know scouts do this. Well, they go off like your 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 skill set, or like they'll work you out, right? And they'll yeah. see how you do in practice, and like, oh man, I mean his velocity, blah blah blah. Yeah. And then like they'll build you up, and there's in every sport. And then like, yeah, but then when it comes down to the game or whatever, yeah, it's like it's it's more than just like your skills, you know. It's about mental and all yes. that shit. Yes. You know? Yeah. I was a bad hitter. I could not hit a curveball and it's because of my like confidence, like all that shit. Mm. Well, so I yeah. never put it, yeah. So what so tell me about the was it cuz you didn't really like it or was it cuz like you, you, you the people were touting you and then you just kind of I think it was knees uh, buckled or I think it was that. I yeah. think it was I I was I think it was I didn't I liked the attention. Like I always I say this a lot. I always like I, th- this is why like I love comedy because I want to do comedy in front of one person at a fucking subway train stop. You know, like yeah. I will do it anywhere. With baseball, I would always want it to be canceled. I just oh. wanted like the igni- uh, like the uh, like, acknowledgement. Yeah, of, on like the short oh, stop. he's on the team and the short. Yeah, I wanted that. Oh. Um, what was the question? I had something to go off that. What was no, the it, w- it was like why did you? Why were you not oh, performing? Yeah. yeah. So I always wanted the acknowledgement, and then and then. Once I just kind of started like playing bad, I don't know, whatever reason. Yeah. I, because I was maybe not getting the acknowledgement, then I would get in my head like I have to play well and then I would do bad and then it would just kind of like this yeah. fucking roller coaster down. It doesn't sound fun. Yeah. No. Yeah. And yeah. it was never like awful. I didn't hit like 150. I was always, I was like consistently like a 230 to like 260 hitter. Did anyone, 230, 270, that's not great. No, but, it's not good. Um, Fuck yeah! No, it's a mental thing in, in, yeah, in any is, any sport. Yeah, worst, I'm hitting. Yeah, I mean hitting is literally like, I mean hitting is mental. You can't be in your head because I mean it's so quick, dude. I mean it's just a guy throws yeah. a ball, you blink, next thing it's fucking there, dude. Yeah, you can't be crazy. thinking in your head about anything. It's got to be your yeah. eye on the ball, like yeah. Um, but yeah, what did um? I'm trying to think of a like a like I'm trying to process everything. So what? So you didn't really like baseball per se not necessarily it's not that yeah. i hated it but it's not like yeah. it's not like i was like this is it forever i right. i thought i like i just i wanted to like be in the majors for sure but it's because yeah. i knew nothing else but it was, i never planned on anything else i never had like i knew people in college even who were like very good at baseball and they're like yeah but i'm gonna go to business school and i'm gonna get this and this, and this. i was always like i'm gonna play in the majors right. and then i got hurt and i but even then it's like i didn't really care i just wanted to play in the majors right and then i got hurt and then i was like well now what do i do Right, I think I, what I think it is, it's like it seems to me, it's like it's something that feeds an, a hole in a sense where it's like you know, all those guys that in, you know in business school, they're like, oh, like this is like whatever, get me like a yeah. full ride to college, 
you know, this is like, I don't know anything else. And like for you, he said, it's like, it got you like attention and like uh, notoriety. Yeah. So I think yeah, yeah. maybe, you know, I, I had someone on last week where they were like, uh, valedictorian, this, that. Nerd. And we're, Who yeah, was it? Huge nerd. Um, Suba Argwal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> um, but dude, she was like saying, it's like, I, I, I felt like if I didn't know everything, then I was useless. Like yeah. I, if I didn't know, if I wasn't the top of my class or like in class and someone asked a question, if I didn't know all the answers or if I didn't know more than the teacher, I, my, that wasn't where my self-worth was yeah. coming from. And I was like, fuck, like, and I got told, like, did you actually enjoy the shit you were learning? She goes, some of it was interesting, but she loves, you know, stand up. You yeah. know, that's what she really loves. So she was doing, it's so crazy how like you can get tricked into life almost into like believing like, oh, I need to keep doing this thing. And you don't really, yeah. like you said, I will, you want half the games to be canceled, but then you're the fucking number one touted player in New Jersey. Right. You know? So it's, it's isn't that crazy? By people who like projected. Again, I right. never performed that way. But it's still wild to be yeah. like, you're the number one prospect or like, like imagine like if there's someone like we know that's like killing it in standup. Like yeah. maybe they're like, they, got it, they just did late night JFL. They're at the cellar. Um, they're touring, they're, and then you just talk to them and like, oh man, I just fucking don't really like doing this. You're just like, what the fuck are you talk? Dude, you're, you're killing. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. Everyone loves you. Everything's yeah. great. Oh uh, yeah, but you know what? I, I really want to. That happens though, man. I remember uh, one of the travel teams I played for. We had an MLB player come in, and he talked about how he's like, yeah, there's people in the big leagues that are just good and they hate it. Yeah, I feel like Joey Gallo now is like that because yeah, he's yeah, so. Yeah. I mean, he's doing so bad now, but. Um, but yeah, even stand up too. It's like, and the major. There's a, it's a lot job. of people now yeah. that do it and are just. It's their because it's, it's their job. That's it's how like they make you a could living. get into this too deep. Where you're like, oh, I can't. What am I gonna do? Go get a job. It's like, no, this is what I do. Yeah. And then they're just on a cruise ship for their whole, whole life, and they probably want to jump off. Right. But do they want to write a new act and, and risk every. No, you know. That's why I love stand up, though. It's because like I don't think I'll ever be that person who's like, this is just what I do. This is my act. I'm gonna do cruise ship for forty years, and then I'm gone. In my head, I'm always gonna be like, I want to do write more. Yeah. That's why I think it's very important to make sure whatever you're doing in stand up and in life is you kill yourself. W- kill yourself? Yeah. We, we if will. you're doing stand up. Just kill, just kill yourself. Just give up. Yeah. yeah. Don't, will, don't get so into it. Do it don't get into it. Just or save yourself the time. Just kill yourself yeah. now. Um, um, but I think you should do. You gotta be doing. I mean, this, it's so hard to say because like, there's uh, so many people that are smarter that do things just for the money and they have like not, you know money and and whatever. But like in stand up and stuff, if you're not doing what you love and you end up making a living doing something that you hate. And you're miserable, dude. Like, is it even worth it? Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. a tough call, especially yeah. in stand-up where it's like, I mean, it's such a hard thing yeah. to make a living. Like, I've been offered to do cruise ships and colleges. And, bro, it's like, I, like, at first I'm like, I want money. And then I'm thinking, like, of course I want money, but I don't want to be on a fucking cruise ship. Yeah, I'm but there's also like, a in my difference. 20s, you know? I think there's a difference between, like, doing it and and then also just phoning it in. Like you're not phone, you work, you write, blah blah blah. There's yeah. people who like do cruise ships, and it's like, yeah, but that they they like got it, and they're like, this is fine. I don't yeah. Have to do. They wake up and they drink all day. They do the show. They come out like that's not what you're. Do- you know what I mean? There's right, a difference right, right. There. Well, I, I want to try it, but like I know there's a guy that's like, I want you on there every fucking month. I'm like, no, I I, I can't do it. I, well, that's that. Even yeah. that alone is proving that you're like that. You're not gonna be that. Even if you did it once a month, like yeah. one month. You just being like, I can't because I got to be in New York. I got to work. Uh, that's like, all right. Well, you obviously don't have that mindset of like, right. Oh, I'm just going to phone it I'll in just and just do take this all forever. your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but then like, um, yeah, you don't want to be miserable doing so. Like, what were you into in high school? Uh, in high school, I was into sports, man. I, it's weird. I, um, I had, I, I'm a very phasey guy. Sure, sure. Until I found stand up. This is like the only thing that I'm like, oh, this is forever. But like, yeah. the outside of like baseball, even while I played baseball, I've always been a very phasey guy, and I've become very obsessed with things. And then I, if I don't do it 100, percent I kind of drop it. So for example, yeah. when I was a freshman in high school, I got like really into religion. I went to the Catholic school. Oh, and uh, partly I think why I got into it was because the priest was also like a baseball guy. And I was like, if I fucking get into it with him, I'll be this. Right. But then I like got into it and I was like, oh, I like this. And I remember I would like ask my parents to go to church on like Tuesdays because it's like a day that whatever. Yeah. And I got like really into it. And then, uh, so 
to answer the question, it's like I got into religion. Yeah. I got into, after that, I kind of discovered drinking and I got really into partying and kind of like dropped. I still played baseball, obviously, but I kind of didn't care at all. Yeah. Uh, had <clears throat> many fights with the parents about that. Your parents? Oh, yeah. Oh, so they were all, they're all in for you and playing baseball. No, I was just uh, like a reckless a dr- idiot. A drunk. Yeah. yeah. And okay, like okay. would kind of wake uh, just bad things. Yeah. Like looking back now, kind of signs of the alcoholism. Alcohol. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I was just like disres- disrespect, not like fuck you, mom, but I would be like, they'll be like, come home tonight. And I'd be like, no, I'm sleeping out. Yeah. And at this point, I'm 18. So it's like, I guess it, people would be like, I would never say that to my mother. And I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't either. But I was drunk and I was an idiot. So yeah, um, I got into drinking heavily. Uh, so it really was like religion and then drinking. And then uh, junior year, I got into uh, um baseball really heavily and i kind of gave up drinking a little bit and like really started focusing on baseball there we go wait sorry junior year i got really into drinking so i was like 17 18 at the time yeah sophomore year i was really into baseball no religion and then senior year i was really into baseball again. Uh, baseball again okay yeah. yeah interesting how the fuck do you get into religion like what, what inspires you about that Catholic school, I think really, because really. most people go to Catholic school and they're like, I, 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 I want nothing to do with this. Yeah, man, I am, bro. <laughs> I mean, if there, I'm the type of guy that like, I could be sold on anything. Like, if there's an infomercial for like feminine product, I'm like, well, maybe, maybe I could buy it. I can use like a tampon. Yeah, yeah, like something like that. I just, I don't know, man. Like, I, I just kind of got into my head of like. Oh yeah, maybe if you do jerk off, you go to heaven. And I'm like, I don't want to, or hell. I'm like, I don't want to go to hell. And then I start. It just slowly becomes Whoa. a thing. I got religious in college too. I've been. I tried to make a bit out of it, and it's still kind of. You're not. Are you still religious now? No. 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 Okay. I'm not. There was a point where I was like, fuck God, fuck all this shit. It's stupid and wrong. But now I'm just kind of like, I mean, whatever, man. I think I'm a good person. I act in a yeah, good yeah. manner. Whatever happens, that's happens. not really religious. Being just being reasonable, you know. Right. I'm a good guy. I think I'll be all yeah, right. Yeah, no, know? that's not really religious at all. But I think, I think, I mean, there's I believe. I believe my own thing. So if I told you right now that in order to make it in stand up, you have to like wear your pants over your your body and stick your hands out through the pant legs, would you do? Would you? Are you that gullible? Like, no, no, I shouldn't say. <laughs> I shouldn't say gullible. I should yeah. say gullible is the wrong word. I should say if I think something is correct, I would do it. If you told me, I'd be like, well, that in my opinion, that's wrong. So yeah, yeah. Okay, it. but if I could, if it was something that seemed reasonable, you'd be like, okay, maybe I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's something that seems reasonable. So you're open minded, really open minded, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to explore things. I've tried many different like diets in okay. the world. Like I'm that kind of guy. And but I'm also not like doing it for like a week. Like if I'm like doing something, I'm fucking doing it hard for a good amount of time. Probably like a month. Yeah. At least. And then if it, it and then if I'm like this is I don't like it, I'll leave or whatever. But yeah, I could get swooped up into something I believe. And yeah. like religion was something that I definitely like I was like, oh yeah, I believe it. For a while. Yeah. And now I don't. Right. Um yeah, it wasn't like you couldn't tell me like, Hey, if you do 10 push ups every morning, you'll make the baseball. Like I'm like, no, that's I love push ups and probably make sense. But you know what I mean? Like something. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 But like what you just said, yeah, yeah, I would never do that. Cause in my head, I'm like, that's not correct. Right. 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 Interesting. So, okay. Yeah. But like if honestly, like if like, is there something you've ever been um, convinced to do or co- believed? And it was, I've been that guy that's yeah. like, I'm going to do affiliate marketing and make $100,000 a month. They cut the cut code knives yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. They come over. You'll make $1,000 a day. I've been the... Stabbing people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been the guy who's like, I'll, I'll uh, sell penny stocks. Like, yeah. Shit like that. And I love... I love like... like I don't know if this is exactly you, but like those people are so funny because they, they fucking, bro, you should, I just, this guy in the street gave me, look at that. Yeah. And then like all your friends are like, dude, this what the retarded. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, I swear to God, this guy told me like, yeah. no, dude, that's a scam. Oh, bro, yeah. don't. Come. And then somehow that guy is so power, like he, he's able to convince all his friends for one day. Yep. And it just <laughs> fails. And like, bro, we told you this is horse shit. And the guy's like, I, th- yeah. I thought this was a, a good idea. I th- I really believed it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that yeah. shit that shit happens. I would bring stuff up to my friends, and they I just imagine every time I left, they'd be like, "Let it pass." Last last month, he right, was, right. Hey, yeah. Last month it was it was yeah. something else. So let it go. He's fine. Yeah. Last month he was doing keto because he thought he would turn black, but it's fine. Just let it go. Black abs. Yeah, that's that's what he meant. Yeah. Um, it's funny speaking of dieting. So many different yeah. phases. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of dieting, because I'm 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 trying. Uh, I'm always. I'm not really committal on diets. I mean, I'm like thin, but like. 
Yeah, you're in good shape. Uh, yeah, but um, I fucked the dieting shit. We don't need to talk about diets. So anyway, so being in baseball, I mean, like, and then you were a star player. Like, I got to imagine, like, the, um, that, was, that was good for your social life, you know? It was fun. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. I, uh, I was of, thinking about, <clears throat> like... Um, a lot of popularity, you think? You yeah, I did go to an all boys school, so it wasn't like ah. it wasn't like I was it wasn't getting tons of pussy, mm. unless you count <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Harrington. Oh yeah, no, I'm playing. Oh, okay. but um, the, yeah, Miss Miss, uh, I forget the hot one's name, but um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was cool. I mean, I hung out with the kids. I didn't really hang out with a ton. I mean, I hung out with like a few baseball players, but it, our yeah. our group was like a just kids that like to have fun together. I think once in the beginning I was very, like I said, when I was religious as a freshman, I was very lonely, uh, very Mm. lonely by like choice though. I like wanted to be, I was the kid, like I was so clean on my diet back then too. Like, yeah, I came up with like, I ate like lettuce wraps for fucking lunch every day. Like I was, I'm a weird kid. Um. I think people don't really understand a lot. Like people, people look at me like, he's not weird. Be like, no, I'm a, I, I can be very weird. There's a lot of things I do that are like, Oh, you're weird. I don't strike you. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't strike you as weird. Anytime right. I see you, it's like, I think t- to the normal, like to the world, I'm pretty normal, but there's certain things that I do where I'm, people are like, uh, mm. that's odd. Okay. Like back, like that. Let us wraps. Of, yeah. Although I think I do. I, for the most part, I, Everything I just said, I think I've kind of like pushed into stand up where I'm like, okay, I'm obsessed. I don't really do anything anymore. I'm like, that's weird. That's odd. I'm, I'm kind of yeah, like yeah. pretty calm, I think. What are some other odd things? Lettuce wraps. Uh, that's not that. I mean, it's, it's oh, odd dude. that someone's so into their diet when they're in high school. Oh, dude, freshman year of high school. Yeah. I lost, I think, about 40 pounds freshman year of high school and for like on purpose. And people, I, people thought I was like, dying people thought i was sick you're anorexic yeah dude i would chew Almost. i wouldn't eat food i would like chew gum yeah. and uh like that was my meal was I like chew gum yeah like i was very weird like that interesting yeah. Yeah. Okay. i got down to like one i think the lowest i ever saw in high school was 137 and i started at like 180 jesus yeah, yeah. and that's just because what, what was the reason just because you kind of i thought it would make me good at baseball yeah uh, yeah, yeah i just i hate being fat i i've always said i said this before but one of my biggest memories or first memories is me i cried to my aunt because all my cut i've said this a million times but all of them yeah. i come from a huge family in terms of like numbers have like 50 literal oh, 50 say, first cousins okay huge i think meant like pound wise no okay huge family like 50 first cousins also all of them are like all the males are like six foot two and above oh. i'm the only one who's like five eleven okay and I'm mm. also the one who's like kind of chubbier. Not that I'm fat or anything, but like yeah. everybody else is like they could eat 17 pizzas a day and never gain an ounce. I was always like, yeah. do I make weight for football? And one of my first memories was uh, I cried to my aunt because I didn't want to take off my shirt to go swimming with my cousins. I was yeah. like six or five, whatever. Yeah. So I've always had this thing about like, I don't want to be fat. So freshman year, baseball on top of not wanting to be fat in high school, I fucking lost like 40 pounds. Yeah. No, I, I have a memory like because I was a chubby kid too. And, yeah. and it was like I got made fun of and oh, like... Yeah. People would fucking take. I was embarrassed. To, I was a t-shirt kid too. Yeah. People would fucking twist my nipples, take my shirt, put it above my head, yep. so you can see yep. my fucking disgusting um, so Snorlax funny. belly, you know. Yeah. And um, I remember when I was a kid, I just looked. I remember I looked at my. I was like bawling, crying. And it was all because I was fat. And I yeah. thought it was like the reason why I had no friends and I was getting bullied, which it was. Yeah. It, this isn't like made up. This is like people are like, you're a fat Asian piece of shit. And let me squeeze your nipples. And, you know, yeah, I remember I looked in the mirror and also it's like, are you a you, cute Chinese huh? fat boy? Cause yeah, you see dude. A cute Chinese fat boys today. You're like, oh, you're, you're a fucking. Yeah. Cute. The poofy hair, yeah. the they got, chubby cheeks. Yeah. They look nice. confused all yeah. the time, you know, like, um, awkward, you yeah. know, like they have that little twist they do, you yeah. know, when, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. Um, then they go to their Game Boy, but Michelin man arms. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was like, I was that, and I got made fun. And like, I remember I was, I was crying and like, th- then you start like getting attracted to people. You start re- realizing what attraction is mm-hmm. and then you just don't have it cause you're disgusted. You're fat. And, um, I remember I like, cried into, I remember like really, I can like picture it. Like I'm in my basement and there's like a mirror and I was looking into it shirt off and I'm just like crying yeah. and fucking yelling at myself you're a fat piece of shit. No <laughs> one's ever going to love you. Get your shit together. And like really just fucking so angry and so sad going in. And like after that day at lunch, I used to get like pizza and fries. 
I started getting these. Um, it's so funny because I, I I started having like, getting deli sandwiches, like your typical fresh cut turkey meat, ham. Um, I never had like a sandwich, like a deli sandwich, until I was like in high school. It was always just pizza yeah. and horse shit food. Jeez. Yeah. So I literally a, a whole year I ate, and this is even that healthy now that I think about it. But it's like I ate yeah. Italian subs. Jared from Subway did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Italian subs and like occasionally I would have a salad, but I would still get the tortilla wrap put yeah. the sal- and then there would still be ranch dressing everywhere. But my it's diet... Better. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. And, I lo- and then I went through my gross spur at the same time. So I went from chat, uh, fat, chubby cheek, little Asian kid and I grew from like 5'5 five, five to whatever, 5'9, five, 5'10 five, and then I slimmed down at the same time. And um, it was like a complete transformation but i remember vividly that like fuck so i have that problem too where it's yeah. just like i don't want to be fat and like if i'm feeling myself i'm very aware of like all right like i'm letting myself go yeah you know very quickly and yeah, like yeah i have this con- i go to the gym all the time and it's like a very ocd uh things i don't yeah. want to go back to that yeah yeah i feel that 100 percent. i'm always I weigh myself every morning. It's like an obsession. I don't weigh myself. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it's a matter of how I look. I could be 270, but if I look good, I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd say, yeah weight is not the issue. It's about how you feel like you, yeah. if you're ripped or you're jacked. Yeah, you're feeling yeah, yeah. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, I guess, so you would say you were popular? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it was a weird thing. There's so many different, like, factions in high school, but because of an all-boys school, it was a little different i'd say like yeah i think if you go to a i don't know but if you went to a like a co-ed school like there's the popular kids that all kind of hang out because they're like the hot guys at the hot girls and they hang out yeah there wasn't like hot guys at the school you know yeah. I mean? it's like oh that's the baseball kids that's a lacrosse like you know what i mean yeah 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 so but yeah i was i was more of a popular kid for sure so like what, i went to the parties and i did all that stuff right what about um so all boys school were there girls like was there was there any like yes. formals or whatever you had yeah sister school yeah uh that was my first arrest for uh drinking uh, real, at the sister school <laughs> yeah i uh, so, so, yes. i did not drive drunk but i got some sort of like dui because my plan was to, I had a bot, a water bottle full of vodka in the car. I drove to the thing and then I chugged it. And my plan was to drive home. <clears throat> the whole thing? Yes. Okay. My plan was to drive home, but I was like, it will be enough time and I'll be fine. And I also lived literally maybe a two minute drive. And then my friend got so drunk that he passed out and I was like the soberest one. So I took care of him. Yeah. And the cops came. They're like, how did he start drinking? And I'm like, oh, I don't you know. And then they're like, you sound like you're drinking. I was like, oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, let's go check your car. And then they checked my car, and I, there was the vodka. Cause I, I guess I didn't finish. There was my did you get a DUI for that? I don't know. I got, I don't know what I got. I know that's I had not a, a D, That's not a, like. It wasn't a DUI, yeah. no. But it wasn't like, it was something to do with vehicle and drinking. Yeah, yeah, Underage, yeah. too. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So, but you were, okay. So, but you were trying to meet up with, with, with chicks and stuff. That was at, that was at uh, the Saney's. Uh, formal right 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 so yeah my girlfriend at the time ooh, she ooh. she was like don't drink and i was like yeah i got you babe yeah <laughs> interesting okay cool i know you gotta go so um i guess we'll wrap up is there anything else from high school that's like, like uh stuck out with you oh like, i got shot in high school oh yes yeah, yeah, yeah. please yeah, yeah please yeah. do tell yeah i got shot in high school it's a whole joke that i do so i'm not gonna like do the joke okay yeah, yeah but yeah. um yeah essentially it was my friend frank uh, I'm not gonna say his last name, but he had a gun. And, <laughs> That's uh, such a Jersey he, story. <laughs> so he had a gun, but like the gun was like um, oh, uh, like a hunting rifle. And all my friends who I always say like, oh, I got shot, and they're like it was a BB gun. Yeah. And it's like, no, I listen. I don't give a fuck if it, what it is. It, he used it to kill deer, and it went through my leg and into my leg. So it could kill. I don't. You know what I mean? Like, wait, it was it was an assault rifle? It was like a sniper. BB gun. It was like a sniper thing. BB gun, though. I don't know. Okay. I think so, because all my friends fucking tell me that all the time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it, 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 uh, what's the word? So you just, it, uh, pe- fucked you up. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, anyway. What has he, happened? Yeah. We, so he said he had a gun. Yeah. We we're, uh, freshmen, I, th- yeah, we were freshmen in high school, and, um, he, he's been saying he had this gun for a while. Yeah. And he would, like, brag, like, oh, yeah, me and my dad went hunting, and we killed, like, two deer. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he's, and then we, he, but Frank, he, this kid Frank is like a wild boy. Yeah. Um, just 
like why and he and like nothing he's one of those dudes that like if he said something you're like all right and then you're like yeah yeah like, yeah nothing yeah. you say is true yeah you that's just, what that's you, what people do when, yeah. when i talk um. yeah, right right <laughs> and uh so he said he had this gun and none of us like really believed him sure and i was at his house because he was driving me to a baseball game and he said something along along the lines of like hey man like since none of you guys believe me do you want to see my gun and i was like yeah i guess i could i'll see your gun yeah so then we went up uh to the to the uh to his room and he pr- takes out the gun uh and it's in a case yeah and um the case is just in the case so i'm like let me see the gun and he goes to pull it out and for whatever reason i get just by chance i'm standing like right in front of the trigger oh goodness. and as he goes to pull it out literally didn't feel a thing i just heard a loud noise and, and <laughs> yeah. yeah literally like that i was like Pff! I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck was that? And then I look down and I'm wearing baseball pants and my pants are fucking soaked red. Uh, yeah, soaked red. You didn't feel anything? Nothing. God, not, so, not a thing. Yeah. Like literally just heard a noise. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Like yeah, looking yeah. around. It's always like big, crazy shooting stabby where people go, oh, I don't even know. And then, whoa. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually posted this video on t- this joke on TikTok. And yeah. in the joke, I do say it doesn't feel like anything. You just bleed. You get shot and then you bleed profusely. Do you, but then when you use okay, a lot of people on the TikTok comments, like so this, I think the reason it blew up is because you get a lot of so, comments. Yes. Yes. So many people are commenting. Yeah. I got shot. Didn't hear a thing. And yeah. Another, another person's like, well, my friend got shot and he said he felt something. So I think there's like different yeah. things. Like if you get hit in the bone, you're going to feel it. But I don't want to take that chance. But yeah. So, so you, you guys f- want to do an experiment at home. Just shoot yourselves. Yeah. So come back to us with the, with the results. Um, so anyway, he, he, he got shot and you didn't feel anything. Nothing. Did you look down and, and, and panic though? All the, oh yeah. Once I looked down, I saw yeah, that's when, that's when I it really, like, oh, I'm going to die. Yeah. Like yeah, I thought yeah. I was going to die. Yeah. Where yeah. did your friend say, you believe me now? No, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. He was like, yeah, do you believe? Yeah. No, he, um, He's like, I was trying to kill you. No, he he basically <laughs> he, he basically You're too weird, man. They take honestly, out. <laughs> I say in the joke that they both fainted, and I think only he fainted, and then his mom started crying. He fainted. Yeah, somebody fainted. One of them fainted. Oh, what the fuck is he? Oh, cause cause he's like, oh, I'm I mean, he's now. probably like, what if he dies? You know. Like, and his mom's crying because like, what if my son goes to jail? Yeah. And meanwhile, yeah. you're just dying there. Everyone's like, does anyone give a fuck? Yeah. About I, me, dude. I for real had to go. I walked down the stairs. There's your cat. Wow, your cat is large. Hey, kitty. That's mean to Ellie. say your cat's fat. But yeah, I mean, you can't do that. She's a girl, yeah, dude. That's really disrespectful. Oh, sorry. She's a Hi. BBW. You want to hang out? Um, yeah, she's joking. So anyway, I had to. I walked myself down the stairs, and I sat on the stoop while they like they weren't near me. Were like, I got shot. Holding each other? Like, honey, I love you. I th- guess so. The don't mom, drop the soap. The mom was freaking out, and the sure. fucking son, I don't even know. I think he was like crying at this point. And I'm just sitting. Now everyone's gonna believe me. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm sitting on the front pooch, front pooch, front porch. um, The cat, literally like bleeding out, and like I'm losing my hair and my eyes. Like I'm gonna die. I'm losing a lot of blood. Oh my god. Or not gonna die, but I was losing a lot of blood, so I start fainting. Fuck. And I, um, yeah, I, I thought I was gonna die. So what happened? They, they put the ambulance. They, they pushed me, put me in the ambulance, rushed me to the hospital. Fucking did whatever they needed to do, and they put me in a room, and I literally stayed in a room for like seven hours, and then. They came back and they were like, it's too deep in the muscle. It would do more damage to take it out. So we're going to leave it in. Oh, so it's in there so right I now? Just, yeah. So I just walked out of the thing. And then the next day I went to Yankee Stadium and I met Yogi Bear. Okay. Yeah. That's a random ending, but yeah. that's a happy ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he Is this still in there now? So if yeah. you go through the metal detector, they're like, what the no, fuck? No, I don't. But oh. I, I do. I, I, I have a card that says like, a card that says like, if I do, this is why. Been shot. But I don't go through them. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. So whatever, what happened? That kid ever get in trouble? We went to court. Oh. A lot. I had the opportunity to sue, and I did not because I'm retarded. Come on. I could have made a lot of money. You knew you were doing stand up in the future. I know. I, I did not. I I honestly, I truly, honest to God, did not do it because I wanted. I didn't want it to be awkward when I saw him in the halls. That's why I didn't do it. <sighs> That's and then, that sums up being a kid in a nutshell. I know, right? Yeah. And then <laughs> when I was in college, I was like needing money because I got into a really bad gambling. I'm an I'm just an addict, but I gambled a lot and yeah. I lost a lot of money. I had to sell my computer yeah. and I needed money, so I hit up. I hit up my parents i was like can i sue him now like by the way and uh we tried and really like, yeah you had until like i was 21 or some some Statue. some amount of date to do it and i never did it so i missed out wow i don't want to be too awkward so i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. pay, get you to i don't pay want a hundred thousand dollars because yeah. i don't want it to be too i probably got like that like a hundred thousand yeah because it ruined my like i can't get an mri now it essentially long story short i know i do have to leave soon but long story short, yes yes yeah well yeah we'll wrap up. um long story short it kind of ended my baseball career because 
I tore. I felt this pain in my shoulder. Dude, and he no, owes you copious amounts of money, I know. dude. Fuck. Uh, I felt a pain in my shoulder, and yeah. no hospital will take me to get an MRI because it will rip the bullet out of my leg. And it's a very big liability, and I would die probably if I Jesus, got an MRI. Yeah. So rather than get an MRI, we just kind of were like, yeah, it feels okay. Let's keep going. And then I just kept going, and then eventually I tore it. And then the only way I knew it was fully torn is when they actually went in for surgery and saw it live. And they're like, oh, yeah, it was fully torn. Do you know this kid still? Do you still talk? No, I don't talk to him. Yeah. Not that because I'm like, fuck you. He shot me. But it's just I never really talked to him. He was a weird right, kid. Right. Right. Fuck, dude. I used to have a um, real quick and then we'll wrap up. Yeah. Um, there is a that's so crazy. Like these like the gun thing is just because I had a friend in high school. Um, it was weird. We had this, like he was friendly with me, but he liked me. I feel, I feel like he liked hanging out with me because he wanted to fuck with me. Yeah. You know, just for fun. I know what you mean. So I would go to his house and he was like a popular kid. He had like a pool and it was like crazy. And he would literally I'd go over his house, which was like to me, I'm like, this kid's inviting me over to this is cool. And he would just fucking he had like these paintball guns and he would put dog food in them and Jeez. fucking just shoot me That's for fun. <laughs> and I'm just running around like it's like hunting and he's like laughing well, you lost and giggling. Of it. So, yeah, yeah, but yeah. dude, I mean paintball it, it would have been better if he hit me with paintballs like That's dog food like dog just food, dog yeah. food like is like is like really it's like a baseball almost it's is like that why you like, have a cat um no it's my girlfriend's food? cat oh, okay. yeah it's my girlfriend's cat no but yeah he used to just shoot me for fun dude yeah. and like nothing ever happened but that's hilarious that he put dog i never even heard of that so quick now you must be older like fuck i really just sh- yeah. sh- shooting people for yeah. fun <laughs> i'm a fucking idiot that's yeah, so funny that's what the cops should do they should put dog food in the bullet in the guns yeah, yeah, yeah. That that'd be a pretty good Save idea. A lot of things, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. We we have ideas here. People yeah. should listen. Also, no no nice deeds ever. Um. So that's not even a nice deed if they're gonna try to save people's lives. That's because yeah. they're selfish. Yeah. Somehow. Anyways, so real quick, if you can go back in high school and change anything, what would you change? Um. Wow, that's good. Uh, if I could, <laughs> that's deep, bro. Uh, I probably. Uh. I maybe would like not take baseball so seriously because I missed out on a lot of stuff. I think because of baseball. Yeah. And yeah, I, it seemed like you were really in love with it. You know, I was in love with trying to be good at it. Yeah. Um, and I missed out on a lot of stuff. I probably would have enjoyed high school more and taken off of baseball. I also would have gotten into other things. I like. I, I would have. I now that I'm like in this different world, like of comedy and like arts, I would have probably tried to do more art, artsy stuff. Right. But in high school, it was gay. So I didn't. Yeah, same. But, but from Jersey. Yeah. yeah but I same. wish I did. Uh, mm-hmm. Not like the play or anything like that. But I wish I fucked around more Dabbled. and like tried different things. It, it seemed like I wish were, I did yeah. more drugs. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like you were so consumed with baseball, you didn't really have time to look around at what else you could like. You know. All I really did was baseball and drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wish I had other interests and hobbies. Yeah. yeah. Well, I always say this to everyone because I have. I mean, pretty much all comics that do this, but and actors, whatever, they, they always have that. Oh, I wish back it. It's like, hey, but like at least you're doing going for it now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So yeah, better late sure. than never. There's still that. There's still some guy out there on a baseball team right now. Like, I really, really, really yeah. want to go to an open mic one day. And he's making millions of dollars, yeah. but he's miserable. Yep. Um, all right, so tell everyone where they can find you. I uh, started a new podcast recently called the TJ Francis Program. You should get on it. Uh, I'll be on it. Yeah, it's I'll, gonna we'll be. Set it up. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. I'm just. It's gonna be whatever. Just gonna want to be consistent with it. I've started a million podcasts. Quit all of them. This is the only one. I'm like, I'm gonna do this until I die. It's a, yeah. So TJ Francis Program, wherever you find podcasts, and then follow me on Instagram at T E E J Francis. Cool. Podcasts are the same thing too. You just gotta find something like the high school thing. I just yeah. love. This is like a topic I can yeah, just cool. go it's on and on about. Yeah. So it's all about finding something you love and. That's yeah. what the consistency, the consistency will come. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, listening. I'm just kidding. Podcast. Follow us on Instagram and um, tour dates, jamescamacho.com. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>